Well, we're going fossil hunting today. We are out here in the, whoa, wide, wide open spaces uh, near Ingemar, Montana, which is a ghost town, uh, almost a ghost town. And we are, at, we are at a place where we find lots and lots of sea fossils, so baculites, ammonites, hopefully ammonites. I, the ammonites are a little bit more rare. Anyway, we're going to be looking in the hills and valleys and seeing what we can find. Hopefully we will avoid the hunters who are out here. I didn't realize that it was hunting season yet, but uh, we've seen a couple trucks, so apparently that's what's going on. Um, so let's take a look. This is a pretty common site here. Uh, you can see it has mother of pearl all over it. Um, a lot of these are kind of layered so that you can see there's just several shell type things that have kind of been all glommed together. And so it's, it's just a, a layer after layer of, of shell fragments. And uh, whatever that shell was, it was pretty big initially. I'm thinking some kind of clam. It's got the ridges like a clam does. Neat. Here's kind of a cool little spot. It's just, just some rocks that have been kind of smooshed together by time. And this one I just opened up. And it's got a little clam inside. These rocks are all so, so loose that you can just break them apart with your fingers, um, which is what I'm doing. So see if we can find anything else. We once found a giant clam in this same area and uh, and dug it out as a family. My kids were younger then and uh, jacketed it in plaster because we didn't want to lose it and then my poor husband had to carry it all the way up the hill and as you can have probably imagined the hill was very very steep and the thing weighed, oh gosh, it had to weigh more than 50 pounds. So he wasn't super happy about it, but it turned out well. We prepared it and, and uh, preserved it. And I'll put a picture in here uh, sometime in the video. Down is fine as long as you keep on going. Holy moly. What do you suppose this is? Some kind of clam, I'm betting. But it's embedded. It's embedded in this rock. So it's probably fairly complete. Whoa. So I mentioned there were baculites. This, this place is really kind of littered with them. Um, they're mostly not in great shape, but they're easy to find and that means hopefully we can find something good. So when you're hunting baculites, sometimes they just look like chunks of rock. They're, they're shaped like, sort of like an egg. Uh, but sometimes they have these things, these like little, these wiggly things here are called sutures. And it's how the water and food and everything circulated within an animal. I think they're really pretty. So this is kind of cool. This is a stone that's made up almost entirely of dead sea shells that have fallen down and smooshed together, you can see here, there's the remains of a baculite. Baculites were, baculites are related to the, they're cephalopods, they're related to the octopuses of today. And they had 
Uh, they had hard shells that were long cone-like things. And they were very strange looking creatures, but... Well, I'm not going to take this because it's big and it's heavy and I don't know what I would do with it. But I'm fairly certain this is a big chunk of either an enormous baculite or an ammonite. You can see it's got a, you know, it's the shape and then it's got kind of a skin on it that would have been the shell. The ammonites here in this area grew just huge. Unfortunately, the soil is very, very loose. And so what happens is that there's a lot of freezing and thawing and plants digging in and so forth. So uh, it doesn't actually preserve them very well. Uh, however, still fun to find. I found here a rather large chunk of ammonite. And then I found another one. And then I found another one. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to find more chunks of this because if I can build a more or less complete or even a partial large ammonite, I would be so excited. Now the bad part is this is just a tiny chunk of the larger piece and I have three of these already and they weigh, it probably weighs 15 pounds maybe. So if I find many more, I'm going to have to make multiple trips up to the car and that's going to be, that's, it's, well, you saw how steep it is. So that's going to be interesting. Anyway, we're just looking to see if we can find any more pieces of this thing. Mostly it's downhill. Well, I've decided not to haul it home. It's really cool and it's big but it'll just end up collecting probably not even dust because it would just be sitting outside. Um, so fun to find, glad I found it, and we'll just tell it goodbye. Headed back up to the car. As you can see, Maybe you can't. It's quite steep. It's like more than 45 degrees. Well, I'm done for the day, but I just wanted to show you one more time the beautiful, beautiful expanse that's here. The land just goes on, it seems like forever. You can really imagine yourself at the edge of Great Sea.